All right, so I'll run you through a, a start here, Matt. So here we go, we're clear on the left, clear on the center, and clear on the right. Bump the starter. We do have a starter. Ignition should come on here in a little bit. NG is at 13. We've got oil pressure. And now everything's rising. Should spike around 650 to 700, somewhere in there, for the first stage. Around 38% so the ignition went off, so now it's burning on its own. And then starter should go off around 48% in G. ITT should spike in somewhere, yeah, 725. And that all looks good. NV is stable around 1,000 now. And generators are online, batteries are charging. Got a good start. Well, welcome aboard the PC-12, everybody. Uh, I've got Matt with me today. He's a friend of the owner, and uh, he's commercial, single and multi, and um, going to Western. He's riding along today. He's going to run the radios for me. We are heading out to um, Lima Romeo Oscar, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, just uh, to the northeast of Charleston. We're about two hours and 15 minutes out there. Nice easy flight today, no weather in the way. All right, and we can pick up the weather. Goshen Municipal Airport, Goshen, Indiana. Automated weather observation, one, three, five, eight, Zulu. Wind, two, one, zero, at one, one. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, Q, niner, thousand. Temperature, one, six, Celsius. Dew point, zero, six, Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero one. Remark. You can go ahead and call clearance if you want. Let them know we're looking for our IFR at Mount Pleasant. Yeah, no problem. Clearance, good morning, Pilatus. Nine or two one November Golf on the ground at Goshen, looking to pick up our clearance to Lima Romeo Oscar. Pilatus nine or two one November Golf stopping clearance. Hold for release to Goshen Airport. Cleared to the Lima Romeo Oscar report via file. Maintain three thousand. Strike flight level 270 within 10 minutes. Departure frequency will be 132.05, clock 1314. Verify for release, say departure runway. Using 27. Cleared as filed to the Lima Romeo Oscar Airport. Climb maintain 3000, expect two, flight level 270 one minutes after departure. Uh, 132.05, 1314, and we will hold for release. We're going to be using runway 27. Plot is one of our golf. Uh, Roger, the readback is correct. Up and off the meter is 2999. Just give me a call when you're number one ready to go. 2999. Mm -hmm. Hey, Clarence, for one of our golf, you got time for a quick question? One of our golf, go ahead for a question. Yeah, I'm just wondering, uh, you guys always give us a hold for release here as opposed to like uh, a release time, and uh, this is the only airport that I get that all the time. I'm just wondering what the reason for it is that. Well, um,. I guess it depends. Like we, most of our IFR traffic goes out of the airport to the RTRs, so there's no delay. Um, we can talk to you at any moment, almost like you're kind of at a controlled airport. So it's easier for us just to have you hold for release and then release you with no time, kind of on the assumption that you're just going to go in the air, you know, as soon as you're number one ready, versus trying to give a time and then it's like, ah, oh, was it, you know, was it voided at 15? Was it 20? Um, it's just easier for everyone involved, I think. I got you. Are you guys able to see our transponder code on the ground here? Uh, we, do you mean like, can we see you on the ground or, uh... Yeah, like I know sometimes, you know, you ask us to keep the code to the ground. I'm just wondering how low you can see us over here. Oh, I mean, we can see you pretty much until you, uh, pass the numbers. Um, keeping the code half the time it's for, um, just to get a get the traffic count because sometimes if you guys cancel like 20 to the south you don't even enter our airspace so that, that's why they ask you to keep the code okay got you thanks yeah no problem there you go guys that's the reason all right we already checked the brakes and we'll check the beta available is sky zero public off top now what can i do for you Goshen traffic, Pilatus 921 November Golf, taxiing apron runway 27, Goshen. Alright, we're 
clear. But the only time I have to use brake and taxi is making these tight corners. <laughs> and uh, zero pop up. Allegiant 2092, so up in clearance, clear to the Sierra. But the only thing left for our pre flight is to do the pusher uh, test, so I'm going to slow it down a little bit because we've got to be at idle thrust to be doing that. Alright, so you got to lift it off a micro switch and then push the stick pusher button up here. And then it shakes it on my side and then it'll shake it on your side. No, I didn't do it that time. Correct. Push it to your own risk, and then I'm right. area. Shakes on my side, uh, shakes on your side, yep. two, seven, then shakes both choice, sides and uh, pushes. Uh, we no, interrupt it, and then I do a control check while I'm doing this. Then we should get the alert. That's kind of doubles as a control check, and also making sure all of the um, servos were disconnected from the push. And that's it. We're ready for takeoff. Well. That's all the pre-flight checks. Yeah. Got our quick last flow. Clearance Pilatus 921 November Golf. We are number one at the runway. Pilatus 1 November Golf, Roger, uh, stand by. Alright, so we'll put the flight director in go around mode and heading. Pilatus 1 November Golf, Roger, go to airspace, flight heading 240, release for departure from the Goshen Airport, have a good flight. Flight heading 240, release for departure 921 November Golf, thanks. All right, so we got 240 set. Fat I fly is the mnemonic, so flaps and trims are all set in the green. Uh, ice protection, I had an eye in there. Probes come on, windshields come on light, inertial separators on. Uh, yaw damp is off, lights come on, and you can make a departure call, and we'll be on our way. All right. Gosha traffic, Pilatus 921 over Burke off the parking runway 27. Gosha. So the last thing is Flight idle, and I always wait till we take the runway. Alright guys, we should have about 1700 foot ground roll here. Got flight idle on the condition lever. Pass window is clear. Got a little bit of less crosswind. Off we go. Okay, power set, airspeed's coming alive, holding center line. All gauges are good. Alright, positive rate on the brakes, gear's coming up. Better not, flaps can come up. And we can turn yaw damp on, taxi landing lights can come off. A little bumpy. A little bit, yeah. Alright, at least 400 feet, we'll turn to 240. And you can let Goshen know we're departing to the southwest and then uh, go over to departure. Alright, you got it. Gushin Pilatus, 921 November Golf, departing to the southwest last call, Gushin. Thousand to go. Southwest departure, good morning, Pilatus, 921 November Golf, just off Goshen, 2500, climbing 3000. Pilatus, 921 November Golf, southwest departure, ident, climbing maintain 10000. Climb maintain 10, 10,000, Pilatus 921 November Golf. Plus 1 November Golf, runner contact, 4 miles southwest, the Goshen Airport, south altimeter 29er, 9er, 9er. 29er, 9er, 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 9 21 November Golf. And once you get out of that ground layer, it's nice and smooth up here. Yeah. Plus 1 November Golf, turn left, direct Lima, Romeo Oscar. Left, direct Lima, Romeo Oscar, 9 21 November Golf. All right, we're clear on the left, make our left turn, and we'll set, reset direct here. And we'll switch over to nav. Sun's kind of bright. Yeah. Spot at 1 November Golf, contact Chicago Center, 119.85, 1985. 119.85, Spot at 9 or 2, 1 November Golf. I was discussion now, maintain 11,000. Yeah, I got it for you. Thank you. Chicago Center, Pilatus, 9 or 2, 1 November, Golf, 5,500, climbing, 1, 0, 000. 
Cessna 921 November Golf, Chicago Center, climb and maintain flight level 200. Climb maintain flight level 200, 921 November Golf. Alright, 200 is set and armed. So that happens automatically in this airplane. Set the altitude, it automatically arms it. There's no arm button to push. Perfect. Well, Air Matt, you want to get some uh, some stick time? Or, you want to get some stick time? Sure. All right, your airplane. Uh, controls. Air controls. All right, so the trim is a two-button switch. You got a trigger in the front, and you got the rocker on top, and that's elevator and aileron. All right. You got amps on, so you shouldn't need to do anything with the rotor. Actually, it'll kick the the yacht amper off if you do. And it's on the power control lever up front. Air 7, Papa Tango, got some traffic now. Let me help you maintain one. So we'll climb at 150. All right, we're above 10,000. Looks like we're going to be clear clouds for a while, so we can close the inertial separator and turn off the pulse lights. And another little bumpy layer. Yeah. Oh, where all the clouds are forming, it looks like. Yep. The once we get above it, I mean, we're kind of above this layer. Usually, once you pop up, it's usually pretty smooth. But November nine or two one November Golf. Climb and maintain level two three zero. Climb maintain flight level two three zero. November nine or two one November Golf. Yeah, we got two level two three zero. They're perfect. Yep, set and armed. All right, there's 180, so we'll go to standard on the altimeter. Hitting the flight levels. Hitting the flight levels. Is this your first time? Actually, technically second, because they did that one flight in the 421. Oh, that's right, yeah. Other than that, no. <laughs> nice. So. Well, this is definitely higher than the 421 flight. Yeah. We were, I don't remember for sure, we were probably only 19 or 20. That's usually where I flew it. So this is when you use that instrument rating. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the flight levels. Exactly. Golf contact Indy Center on one uh, three quarter two zero point five seven. Have a good one. Two zero to one five seven. Center two one November Golf. Thanks. Any center, good morning. Pilatus Manor 2 on November Golf. Flight level 221, climbing. Flight level 270. Pilatus Manor 2 1, November Golf, Indy Center. Help. Can you climb the lead flight level 260 on four minutes or less? Uh, yeah. Affirmative. Pilatus Manor 2 on November Golf. Great, thank you. Alright, so we're going to bump it up to 140, or I guess bump it down. We'll do a climb up about 140. That should give us at least a thousand foot a minute. Thousand feet to go. One to go. And we made it in four minutes. Okay, and let's see. Two. All right, two seven zero. Oh. Been twenty three minutes to altitude. We burnt two hundred fifty pounds. Let it speed up here for a little bit. Then we'll set cruise power. All right, so cruise power Three, setting will be 28.6. Pull power back a little bit. 28.6 pounds of torque. All right, well, I'm going to switch it over to time lapse for you guys. If you're enjoying the videos, appreciate it if you subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when I got... New videos coming out. Catch you on the descent.
Welcome All right, well, we're 50 miles out. We might be able to get the weather. Mount Pleasant, regional air. For 7 9 November X ray, contact deck center 124.07. Good day. 0 7 Zulu. Wind, calm, visibility more than 1 0. Sky can check. Good afternoon, Blue Street 5221, over Corvette. Street 5221, Jack, welcome to 7D of the stock car 3 arrival, landing north, Florence South Cemetery 3016. Give me the stock car landing north, Blue Street 5221. All right. Like should be a pretty straightforward Four approach landing there. Jack, welcome, Myrtle Beach South Cemetery 3016. November 921, November Golf, contact Charleston Approach, 119.3, good day. 119.3, thanks. 921, November Golf. Trust approach, uh, Pilatus 9 November Golf, descending 12,500. November 921, November Golf, South Coast, Charleston, Timber 3016, off lower at about 5 miles, be patient. 3016, 9 November Golf. Number 1, Remy Golf, climb maintain uh, 919. Be patient, alright, so they're probably going to give us a slam dunk arrival here, so. We'll get to see what the Pilatus can do as far as descents. <laughs> Alright, level 11,000. Climb maintain 10,000, 10,000. So 10,000, And we're just going to leave the power at, back here at 25 inches of torque to, so we don't go too fast. We need to start slowing down anyway. Yeah. And we're close enough. I'm going to go ahead and pull, turn the pulse lights on, inertial separator on. Number one, number golf, descent to maintain 9,000. Descent to maintain 9,000, one, number golf. And number one, number golf, turn 15 degrees left for traffic. 15 degrees left, uh, one, number golf. I'm getting a couple call signs, probably because I got two that have a, a one in their call sign. 191, Romeo Golf, I need you on a 200 heading, 200 heading, climb to 10, please. 200 heading for 10,000, one, Romeo Golf. 921, number golf, 15 left, down to 9,000. 15 left down to 9,000, 921 November Golf. You. Uh, yeah, the guy must have blocked us. 62 yeah. turn right heading 36, or I'll work you towards Swamp Fox here shortly. Number 999, All right, so we've got, got the ATIS. Um, what I'm going to do is 16, cross 9, the 9, field. 9, 9, 9, Since it's a right pattern for 35, we'll just use 17. Golf, descend to maintain 3,000. Descend to maintain 3,000, 921 November Golf. Well, that was my plan. Depending on where they turn us here, they might give us a straight end for uh, 17. Yeah, we can do the straight end. Yeah, if we're far enough out here, that'd be fine. I mean, they'll give us the visual, and then we can choose what we want to do. If it's a busy pattern, well, we might make a different decision. But yeah, we should be in a good position to be just do a straight end over there. Brickyard 3462, turn right direct. Small box is in the All right, so the airport is 23 right, miles out the there, we don't see it yet. 3462, contact Jack Center, 134.37, 3437. Number one over McGulf, clear direct. The, uh, actually, continue on that heading until I get to a little lower, but I'll have direct Mount Pleasant here shortly. Expect your descent, maintain 2000, 921 over McGulf. 921 over McGulf, descent, maintain 2000. I'll just increase rate of descent here a little bit. Number one, November Golf. One, November Golf. Clear direct uh, Mount Pleasant. Direct Mount Pleasant. One, November Golf. Oh, I've got the airport site. It's. Oh yeah, I got yeah, it. You got it. Right in front of us. Yep. Yeah, we'll just do a straight in. That'll be perfect. Number eight one seven Romeo Mike. Contact shop approach one two five point four. 25 right. so kick off the autopilot, hand fly One November Golf, the Mount Pleasant Airport, 12 o'clock, and 10 miles report in sight. Airport in sight, 921 November Golf. One November Golf, clear to approach all the the Mount Pleasant Airport, reports cancellation of I-4 near Big me or on the ground. The uh, phone number provided, there is traffic waiting to depart as well. We'll go ahead and cancel IFR 921 November Golf. One November Golf, IFR cancellation, see squawk BFR, to improve, Neil, which runway you plan on using? I have our cancellation, and we're going to go ahead and make a straight at 17921 November Golf. That. And do you know what runway they're planning on departing there? Uh, I haven't talked to them yet, but I'll, I'll let them know that you're inbound. One November Golf, thanks. Yep. 
Okay, Spock 1200. Over to Unicom. Current flight director off since I'm not going to be using that. That was traffic, Pilatus 9 or 2 November Golf, 7 uh, and a half to the uh, north inbound, straight in 17, Mount Pleasant. Traffic in the vicinity of uh, Mount Pleasant, it's November 63863, taxi for departure off runway 17. All right, slow, slow down here below flap speed. Below 65 and slowing. We'll go ahead and go 15 degrees flaps. Okay, and we're descending, we're below 180 gear down to go down. Alright, got lights on. Gears down a lock, three greens. Got flaps indicating, selected and indicating 15. Three mile final, one seven. Roger, we're gonna head out. Uh, Cessna seven hundred off Mount Pleasant, departing runway one seven. Mount Pleasant. Go quickly. Yeah. This is where Pleasant, being able to. Pick up every six. We're gonna go thirty degrees flat. Turn off. Take to uh, departure. This is where it's uh, nice to be able to fly at one seventy two speeds. Got that traffic on the runway and say, Yep, about to go past a thousand footers there. Five hundred. Got amp to go yet. DSB plus ten and about ninety knots. Got amps away. Do have three greens. are reported calm. It felt like a little bit of right crosswind back there, but There you go, 3,700 foot runway without braking. <laughs> I think I flared a touch high there. We landed and I still felt super high up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not used to pulling this tall. Right, it sits up pretty high. Alright, we got the IFR cancelled already, so we don't have to do that. Mount Pleasant traffic, Plata Center, 20 November Golf, clear of the active taxi ramp, Mount Pleasant. Alright, turn the pulse lights off, landing light off, strobe lights off. All right, heats are off, flaps coming back to 15, we'll leave them there because we'll use that for departure. We're only going to be here for a little bit and it's not windy. Well, thanks for riding along with us, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the flight. We'll see you on the next one.